Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We whipped up a special something something for the holidays, and today I'll be showing you how to configure a RAID 5 array using the iDRAC lifecycle controller. Unfortunately, our Plex server ran out of space. So, we had to gather up all of our extra 2 terabyte hard drives, put them together in a RAID 5, and now we have a total of 8 terabytes in our Plex server. And if you're wondering why this is being filmed on camera, in a very dark room, it's because our capture card was not working. And when I say the capture card wasn't working, I really mean I have no idea what I'm doing with the capture card, and so we resulted to filming with a camera. Do not judge. Anyways, at the Dell startup screen, I pressed F10 to enter the iDRAC configuration utility. These startup times are slow, so just uh, bear with me for a little bit, will ya? The real nice thing about having a RAID array is that they have hardware failover, meaning that if one drive decides it wants to cease to exist, we can just swap him out with a nice healthy drive and discard the other one, because he no longer works, and he works, he's been swapped with. Well, if you want to, you can go ahead and grab yourself a hot cup of cocoa, put some whipped cream and marshmallows, maybe a little bit of cinnamon on top. Just relax because this is going to take a while. Get ready for a unified server configurator coming up next on Disney Channel. And here we are finally arriving at the unified server configurator. We can begin by heading down to Hardware Configuration, where we'll find tools to set up our RAID array. Once you're there, click on Configuration Wizards. This is where we consult with the elders and use their tomes of knowledge to teach us how to make a RAID array. Here, you'll find the RAID configuration screen. As you can see, we currently do not have a configuration set up, and that we have a Perk 6i integrated RAID controller installed into our server. For this video, we'll be using the advanced wizard to ensure that we're using the best settings possible for our RAID array. Here we can choose which RAID array we want to set up. And of course, as mentioned before, we'll be doing a RAID 5. On this screen you'll find the minimum hard drives for a RAID 5 as well as the maximum, the protocol you want to use as well as the media type, and a list of all the drives currently inside your server. For this next part, I didn't want to get into too much detail about the read and write policies, so instead of rambling on for 10 or 12 minutes, I included some snippets of information just for your curiosity. Once you're done configuring the settings, Take one last look at the summary and make sure everything is exactly how you wanted it to be. Once you're finished, you can exit the utility and then boot into your server. Now, in order to use this virtual disk on Ubuntu server, we have to manually mount it using the terminal. 
Um, I do not have film of this, however, if you would like to see how to do that, there are guides online to do it. Or you could just, you know, ask for another video tutorial, that'd be nice too. Now we had a little trouble transferring all the movies from the original standalone hard disk drive that we had to the new virtual disk. Uh, so we had to buy a toaster-like device that would read the disk and use an application that would also read the contents of the array. And then we were able to access all the movies that way and transfer it into our new virtual disk on the server. And as you can see, everything ended up working. We have an 8 terabyte virtual disk with over 300 plus movies transferred over to it. And plenty of room for more movies to come. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Buena Vista wishes all of you a very Merry Christmas.